good morning good morning good morning it is 9 21 a.m here in the beautiful atlanta georgia and i just wanted to get up this morning and come for a little walk through the cemetery <laughs> that sounds so strange <laughs> but no man i came here to do some shifting but i thought it would be cool to go live before i started so yeah good morning y'all good morning good morning good morning good morning there's an airplane flying above excuse me a helicopter's flying above good morning everybody good morning y'all y'all know i like to just pop up on live now so whoever hops on hops on i appreciate y'all for hopping on Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, y'all. Good morning, y'all. I love y'all, man. Y'all, woo! I've been getting messages. I've been getting messages. Dalen, you've been slacking on the graveyard shifts. <laughs> y'all, I promise you I haven't. I was out of town. I had to go out of town. And I had all the intentions in the world to film and release when I was out of town. <laughs> but the internet and everything was just horrible. So it threw me off, y'all. But we still had the Why They Hunts and all of that great stuff. But yeah, just the internet threw me off last week, y'all. But guess what? I'm back and I'm gonna make up for it. So I'm trying to drop videos all, all week long. I know I got bags under my eyes and I'm gonna tell y'all why, y'all. <sighs> I went out the country this past week. We were in Colombia. We were in Cartagena, Colombia. Interesting trip interesting interesting trip y'all and my plan was to film some graveyard shift out there because i was like all right i want to test how the box would work in a spanish-speaking area but yeah it just didn't work out for me at all out there guys to do any of that so it just threw me off <laughs> but i'm back now y'all and it's just it was three flights so yesterday was all whole bunch of sleeping on airplanes for me so that's why i have bags under my eyes so we gonna be back, y'all. I love y'all. Somebody's 43. D, happy birthday, love. Happy birthday. But yeah, so I came out here to get some shifting going, but I just wanted to do a morning stroll, a morning stroll through the cemetery. And I just was like, anybody who wanted to walk with me, I was just gonna go live and yeah, and just get it going. So yeah, if y'all want to, this isn't really gonna be just a spirit box session or anything. This is just me kind of walking through the cemetery that I kind of do. So I'm going to kind of show y'all what I do for most graveyard shifts before I cut the camera on. How about that, y'all? So if y'all just kind of want to vibe with me this morning, here, let me turn back around. If y'all kind of want to just vibe with me this morning and walk and talk and chill with me this morning, that's what this is going to be. If not, I understand if you want me to do a spirit box session and tune in later on today, I'm going to drop some videos. But this right now is kind of like what I do all the time before I do a graveyard shift. So if you want to hang around, hang around. I forgot it is 4th of July. Y'all, my schedule has been so crazy. It is 4th of July. Today is 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, y'all. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July to everyone resting here. That's cool. We're going to spend 4th of July this morning, y'all, in the cemetery. That's cool. So everybody, okay. So y'all at home anyway. <laughs> I thought I was interrupting y'all's day anyway. <laughs> y'all can come vibe with me this morning. Y'all can come vibe with me this morning. And then we're going to get into more shifting videos this week and later on this week, y'all. So, But we're back. More little story is we're back with more content. I'm gonna make up for everything that I have missed <laughs> last week. So, usually y'all, when I come to a cemetery, I don't ever, ever get straight into just pulling out my spirit box. I literally like to walk through the cemetery. I don't know y'all. Y'all, I got to get me a gimbal. I'm going to get that next. Give me till today, y'all. I'm going to get a gimbal today. <laughs> so when I walk, it won't be shaking. So I'm going to take it slow. 
Yeah, y'all. So I get a lot of questions like, Dalen, you just be going in there, sitting down, talking. You need to announce yourself. You need to tell the spirits that they can't follow you home before you leave and da 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 da. And y'all, y'all are absolutely right. You're absolutely right. But I do do all of that stuff. I just don't always necessarily film it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times I just come in like this and I walk around. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm back at the Oakland Cemetery. I just love this Oakland Cemetery, y'all. Like, it's just so much character. There's so many different, different types of resting spaces. Like, the last time I went live from the Oakland Cemetery, we was in the back. But the front is always crowded with people walking and, you know, taking tours. So I tried to get here early this morning. Yeah, y'all can ask some questions, y'all. Okay. Daylin, do I ever use sage? Yes, all the time. My wife does not play. She does not play about that. I cannot come into the house without saging myself. And especially like if I go on like a Ghost Brothers excursion or trip or filming, because she knows the type of places that we go to for Ghost Brothers. So yeah, she won't let me come back in the house without saging and all of that good stuff. So yes, I do that all the time. Have I ever done a spirit box sessions at the MLK tomb? No, I have not, but I would. I've gone there often, didn't stay far from there. Uh, yeah, I would love to do one. Doreen, Michael, happy birthday. I think that said Michael, it came by pretty fast, either Michael or Michelle. <laughs> but it came from Doreen, happy birthday. It's lunchtime over there in the UK. All right, y'all, do your thing. Y'all, okay, I've been getting a lot of requests about Selena. <laughs> a lot of people, okay, that's interesting. What does it mean when you have a, a black crow, a statue of a black crow on your headstone? What does that mean, y'all? What's up, Anne from Ireland? That's cool. That's interesting, y'all. What does that mean? What does a, a crow on your on your headstone mean? It's interesting. Okay. Now that I've already explained the bags under my eyes, I don't feel bad, and I, I don't mind showing my face more. I just don't want to see a thousand comments of Dayla, you look sleepy or you look tired. That's the worst. Don't you hate it when people tell you stuff like that? Oh, Dayla, you look tired today. Well, goddamn, I thought I was actually pretty handsome. <laughs> but thank you for lowering my self-esteem. <laughs> no, I'm just playing y'all, but I'm serious. <laughs> There's always humor in all. There's a little bit of truth <laughs> in all humor. <laughs> but uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, Selena. Yeah, a lot of people want me to, I get, oh man, Selena comes up more than probably anybody else in my request. There's a lot of birds flying around. You know what that means. Uh, well, we don't know what that means, but it seems like every time that happens, it's like some spirit. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we get Selena a lot, a lot. And I remember, I remember when Selena passed away because I'm from Texas. And I was visiting my grandma, the same one that made me touch the dead body. <laughs> I was visiting her. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Selena passed away. And she stayed out there in West Texas. And West Texas was a whole bunch of Hispanics and Mexicans. And when they got word that Selena passed away, y'all, I didn't realize. I was young, though. I was a kid. I was a kid, 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 kid. But I didn't know what Selena meant to their culture. Oh my gosh, it was like the world stopped. So I get it, like I get like Selena for sure. I would love to, and I've always been fascinated with her story. So yeah, I just gotta make my way out there, man. Which that's like, that's San Antonio, ain't it? Yeah. 
I think it is. You've never heard of Selena? What? I ain't even, okay, I forgot. We got people all over the world, y'all. Man, you gotta Google Selena. She was, is one of the best singers ever. She tragically passed away early in her career. Um, the I want to say the manager of her fan club. That's how crazy that is, man. The manager of her fan, it's in Corpus Christi. Corpus Christi, you're right, not San Antonio. It's in Corpus Christi. Uh, her manager of her fan club shot her. Shot her. Shot her, man. And that's what's crazy. That's what's messed up about that situation. Somebody that she allowed to get close to her because she felt like they supported her. And they, yeah, man. So, yeah. Yeah. And she passed away in, like, the 90s. So yeah, Google Selena. It would be dope to to go out there and and uh, try to, you know, spirit box it up out there. What else y'all talking about? Hi from Croatia. Wow. Hi. I love it. I love it. I love it. Look, people just be jogging through this cemetery. It said, Dalen, are those crows screaming around you? I don't know. It sounded like it was, but it kind of got quiet now, now that I'm over here. Have you thought of doing one in a national cemetery where vets are buried? Yes. So my wife has to go to, well, no, she doesn't have to go. She's going to, <laughs> that sounded so bad. <laughs> ah, that sounded bad because she, my wife is going to visit her family in D.C. But the way I said it was, my wife has to go to D.C. But no, my wife is going to visit her family out there in D.C. And I was supposed to go with her. And she was like, yeah, come out here. And then you can do some spirit box sessions at some of the national, you know, spaces. I was like, that's dope. It's dope, one, that Stacy supports what I do. I love her for that. And it's dope, too, because we haven't done that yet. But unfortunately, that weekend is Dragon Con in Atlanta, Georgia. So if you're anywhere near Atlanta, Georgia, the Ghost Brothers, we will be at Dragon Con. It's like the weekend of August 29th through September the 3rd or something. So yeah, Dragon Con, if you're anywhere close to it. But yeah, that's the only reason why I'm not doing a national cemetery anytime, like in the next few weeks. But this latter part of the year, y'all, this latter part of the year, is dedicated solely to this channel and growing the content and growing the family. So we're about to literally get on the road again. We're going to some more states, hopefully some more countries, but I plan on doing a lot more traveling this second half of the year. I think we got to a great, we, we started off as a family very, very great this top of the year. And we have, by all means and measurements, greatly exceeded any expectation that I have ever, ever had for this channel. I'm going to be honest with you. At the top of the year, for everybody that's coming in right now, this is not really a spirit box session. This is just a, a morning stroll through a cemetery here in Atlanta. If you, If y'all think I should do these often, let me know. And... In addition to everything that I'm doing, like I know my conversation's jumping from, <laughs> this is just mornings with Dalen. <laughs> Morning ramblings with Dalen, y'all. So if you don't mind it, I'll keep doing them. I don't care if it's just a few people that like to watch it. I like doing it. So if you like watching it, I'll keep doing it. Because I do it anyway. I just don't ever record it. So if y'all, you know, wanna just walk through a cemetery with me, then I will gladly keep these up. Cause again, y'all, I want this channel to become like my job. The thing about television is when you shoot TV shows, you shoot, you just do, you do what's considered a lot in a short period of time. So think about like, if you had a job, your job that you work out, work at now, <laughs> and you spend 12 months working at your job, what if they was like, 
we'll give you your same salary, <laughs> but we'll give it to you in three months. If you can knock it out in three months and you just have the rest of your nine months free. That's kind of like how TV works, guys. They'll, you'll do your 12, the yearly, your year's worth of work in say two to three months. And then you have nine months to do whatever else you're gonna do in the world. <laughs> it's just, so now, and what I should have been doing, and this is me again, just having morning conversations with y'all because y'all are family. But uh, what I should have been doing since the beginning it's just documenting my own experiences like I'm doing now on my channel and creating my own content. So technically, I'm like three years behind what I should be doing. But I'm doing it now. And that's spending all of my off time doing more stuff like this, if that makes sense. Because I really, really enjoy it. But I just wasn't doing anything with it. Like we get booked out for events throughout the year and conventions. And that like takes up our time. And then like me and Juwan have a company and all of that, that all of that's on autopilot. It's just like, I should be doing more in this space throughout the year. And that's what I have been focusing on with this channel is building out that space. And you guys have truly, 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 truly pushed me, motivated me and supported me to do this. And y'all, I love y'all for that. Y'all, we had 5,000 subscribers at the top of the year. Yeah, 5,000. <laughs> I remember telling Stacy, I was like, look, man, if we can just end the year with 15,000 subscribers, man, we on to something. We are on to something. 12 months, end the year with 15,000 subscribers. Y'all. It is July and we're at 60 something thousand. <laughs> man, that's wild. That's beautiful. God, man, I'm so grateful. Thank you, Lord. Thank you to my graveyard ship family. And to the 60,000 strong out here, man. Y'all are amazing. Y'all are amazing. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Again, y'all, this is just me doing a stroll through a cemetery. If y'all want me to continue to do stuff like this live, let me know. And I will go get a gimbal <laughs> so my videos won't be shaky as I'm walking. So yeah, let me know. Let me see, what else we talking about y'all? What's up Buffy? I got you Buffy. Ah, oh, Kathy, I understand, I understand. How old is the section right here? uh this seems to be a these seems to be soldiers i don't know i didn't look and see the marker there should be a marker somewhere but this whole section is dedicated oh yeah confederate states army these are confederate soldiers Thank you, Angelina boy. I love you too, man. Sabrina, appreciate you, Sabrina. Hold on, I can't. Let me see what the comments is. Let me see. All right. Thank y'all, thank you, thank you, thank you. If I miss your questions, y'all, I apologize. But definitely, thank you. All right. Let me flip it back around. Y'all, I'm, <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm trying to flip the phone around and get everything back around. I feel like the uh, the person that's new to the phone, like that's new to the internet like baby let me see where i'm at with it baby how you work this internet device love here we go y'all mark is doing beautiful man thank y'all for uh accepting mark into the family y'all some of y'all have been rude say man let me turn the camera around when i tell you this let me turn the camera around when i tell you this one of y'all almost got cussed out 
I'm being real. I'm being, I'm keeping funky with you, man. One of y'all almost got cussed out. I didn't block you, but I, I deleted your comment. And I don't delete comments. But say, man, what we're not going to do is talk about people. We're not going to do that, y'all. This is a space of love. This is a place of, like, like-minded. <laughs> we don't do no hate talk. No sh shaming. None of that. We don't tolerate. We don't play none of that. So, yeah. You know who you are. You can get going with all that. We don't need nobody in this family like that. And that's respectfully. Love, 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 love. Back to it. Thank y'all again for accepting Mark into the family, y'all. Mark is dope, y'all. What you got to realize about Mark is... All right, let's keep walking. Uh, Let's go this way. What you got to realize about Mark is... Mark comes from a technical producer director background right so he worked with us on one of the seasons of ghost brothers he was thank you for everybody that's donating thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you y'all yeah, might rain out of here but mark comes from a technical background when it comes to like tv and storytelling and all of that right so he was never not necessarily like into the paranormal and ghost hunting you know what i'm saying other than like I'm producing this show for this television network. So if you ask him his thoughts, it was more so from a, a TV standpoint, not necessarily from a believer or an investigative standpoint, if that makes sense, right? So when we linked up, I knew that, but he was expressing to me his interests. And I thought it would be kind of cool to bring that perspective in. So Mark, when you're watching Mark and his experiences unfold on camera, they are 100% natural and true and coming from and starting from the beginning. <laughs> you're watching a paranormal investigator literally start right in front of your eyes with Mark. So him having experiences, him hearing things, if he gets excited, if he gets nervous, it's all the natural emotions and reactions that anybody would go through that start doing something like this. So let him have his moments. You know what I'm saying? He got touched for the first time, literally, <laughs> the other day, the episode from the other day at the Hermitage Hotel, a spirit literally grabbed his hand. Mark flipped out. Mark lost his mind. You know what I'm saying? Mark told me something the other day, and I want to tell y'all so bad, but I can't be that friend that tells other friends business. I've never been that. But just know, for the love of y'all, I want to tell y'all so bad what Mark told me. But I gotta let that man tell y'all in his own time and his own truth. But just say, <laughs> watch Mark's growth, y'all. Just watch Mark's growth. So give him a chance, y'all. If you haven't given Mark a chance, give him a chance. And just understand who he is. Like, people want him to come in and be a certain way. Like, okay, it's like one day, Mark had his feet on a grave. You know, for me, that's a no. We don't step on graves. But in Mark's mind, he's just walking through grass. Like the people are underneath the ground that are resting, not the grass on top. So it's just like he has different perspectives. And I can't knock him for the way that he feels, because who said that he's wrong? You know what I mean? I wouldn't trip if somebody walked over my my grass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's uh yeah, yeah, yeah. He just has different stuff, different beliefs, different perspectives, and I think that that's cool to add to a channel like this. What y'all think? Yeah, yeah. Cool. That's that on Mark. That's my boy. And Mark is putting so much time and energy into this channel, y'all. Like, I, man, y'all got to realize it's just me by myself at one point. Mark is literally carrying a big load on these two, on the project, the podcast, and on Why They Hunt. Like, he's doing his thing. Like, the editing, look at... Y'all, look at the editing that I do on the graveyard shift. <laughs> I ain't even gonna tell y'all the episode that I tried to really flex my editing muscle. <laughs> it 
if you ain't watched the Hawaii episode, <laughs> please go back and watch the Hawaii episode. I tried to flex. Y'all, when I edited that video, I put music in it. I put sound effects, y'all. I had cuts. <laughs> I When I uploaded that video, I was like, Jalen, you about to kill him with this video. Man, I started reading them comments. <laughs> I said, like, take this dumbass music out the background. <laughs> But yeah, but go look at an episode of Why They Hunt. That's all Mark's editing, man. Like the drone shots, that's Mark. Even though he broke the first one. He broke the damn first one. <laughs> the day we got it. <laughs> the second one, he been doing his thing with it, man. Like Mark is really doing his thing. As my mom, my grandmama would say, Mark is earning his keep. <laughs> he earned in his keep, y'all. So we gotta grow the channel so we can keep Mark around, man. We don't want Mark to have to go back to go back to go back to the man. <laughs> we don't ever want to go back to the man. It's crazy how like people in front of the camera and people behind the scenes can have the same issues. <laughs> and then they can come together and start their own thing. All right, y'all, back to it. I know y'all tired of me looking at me. And Mark did mean to break the drone to niece. Everybody knows he did. And what's cool about why they hunt? I know somebody was like, I don't like Mark's theories. <laughs> like, just get down to the bottom of the story. That's the thing. That's the whole concept of why they hunt. Mark goes out into history, like into the 1800s and finds like real life murder cases that may not have like hit the news or have like these big media story attentions. And he dives into the court records and he finds these questions and he just just questioning these cases. And then that's why you have me. I'm the guy that comes back around and be like, all right, Mark, that's 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 <laughs> that's interesting, brother. <laughs> but I don't think the maid killed the dog and the cat and the rat and the mice and the mama and the daddy. <laughs> like I, I try to reel Mark back in. <laughs> But I think it's interesting to go into these cases with all of these different theories. He's like a detective. He's literally like a detective. And you can't be a detective only looking at one angle. And you really probably couldn't be a detective <laughs> like Mark, who throws out way too many angles. <laughs> but I think that's what's dope about the show, man. I don't know what y'all think as I walk and talk. What's up, John Edward? What's up, Helen McMullen? <laughs> Melanie says she loves Mark's angles. <laughs> they can get a little outlandish. Y'all, and another thing. And another thing, y'all. Another funny thing while I have y'all out here. This lady wrote me and she was like, you need to stop calling Mark a liar. You are totally discrediting his experiences every time you call him a liar. He is your friend. Be nice to your friend. And I was like, dang, when I call Mark a liar. And I had to go back and look and she wrote, I said, you're lying. So every time Mark, like a big experience happens, like when he was like, somebody touched me, I was like, you lying. She took that as me saying, you're lying. <laughs> and I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> the you're lying <laughs> is when, some, when something so big happens that you, that's unbelievable, that you believe it, that you, you know what I'm saying? It's one of those like, you, like if somebody tells you, girl, you know Jenny cheating on Paul. And she'd be like, you lying. She cheating on Paul again. It's one of those. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> so it's okay, y'all. Just understand, there's nothing is disrespectful. Like somebody said, it's those cultural differences and nuances that I may throw out there. But the thing is, I want to always be able to talk like myself and be myself. Because I feel like on TV, a lot of times, they don't allow you to do that. They will cut that out because it didn't resonate or it didn't make sense. <laughs> but <laughs> that is, uh, yeah. And I like doing these live 
like this and stuff, I don't want y'all to think I really be mad when I be addressing stuff in, like, in videos. I just feel like it's cool to be able to address stuff in videos. Because you didn't get to on TV. Like now I can really come on my channel and address anybody. I can address one specific person <laughs> if I want to. <laughs> but yeah, so y'all, oh wow, look. Wow. But yeah, so just know anytime I say Mark, you lying. I'm not calling him, in fact, a liar. <laughs> I do believe him. I am just so shocked that what he told me, because because whatever he said, I'm sure it was unbelievable. Love. Back to it. Happy 4th of July, y'all. Ark Rosebud, thank you for coming on the stroll with me. I promise you to everybody that's just now getting on, I'm going to have a gimbal the next time. So I apologize for this being shaky. But I'm just walking. I'm going to do some graveyard shifting in a minute. I was just out here and I thought that I would walk with y'all or, you know, see if y'all wanted to walk with me. Thank you for everybody that's donating. Bert, I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy 4th of July, y'all. Say, y'all be safe. Y'all be safe out there today on 4th of July. I need everybody to come back with all of their fingers, <laughs> toes, I need you to have all of them, your eyes, your ears, your nose, your fingers, and your toes <laughs> tomorrow, y'all. So be firework safety. Firework safety, family. Let's make sure we practice firework safety. So look, I can honestly probably do these type of things a couple times a week. I can go find different cemeteries. And you know what else I was thinking? I was like, I'm going to get back to like, and y'all tell me what y'all think. The earlier graveyard shift videos. I got away from it because I felt like y'all didn't want to see that. Remember the earlier videos, I would walk through the cemeteries. I would walk through the woods and see all that good hiking, nature-y video stuff. But I thought people just wanted just to start right at the spirit box. So I just cut all of that out and started at the spirit box. But if y'all want to see the, the search the walkthrough, the navigation of in the videos, then I would definitely do that. 100%. Y'all let me know how y'all want the video. I can switch it up. Again, y'all, this is my full-time God. Well, I said God. I was trying to say gig and job. <laughs> right now, man, this is what I'm doing, y'all. This is the coolest thing that me and Mark was talking about this the other day. Like, this is the dopest thing that we've ever got to do because we get to do everything that we want to do. We get to make real time changes, real time pivots. We don't have to stop anything. We don't have to, like, do anything differently that we don't want to do or we can do everything differently. Wow, Marie, Marie Carroll, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. We don't have to ask anybody, y'all. We don't have to do anything that we don't want to do. Y'all are our bosses. Okay, let's see. Bert says, I'm doing great. Bert, I appreciate you, brother. Thank you, man. MB, come to Auburn, New York with the Harriet Tubman. Okay, okay. I would love to do that. Marie, thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Let me flip this camera back around. Boom. Ooh. Melanie, Melanie, wow. Say, man, y'all, y'all treat me too good, y'all. Y'all treat me too good, man. Y'all treat me, Peggy. Thank you so much, y'all. Say, everything that y'all donate goes right back to the channel, man. Everything y'all donate goes right back to the channel. So I appreciate y'all. I have big plans. We're only, what, we started in November, almost December is when we started. I got some more ideas, man. I got some more ideas. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying this journey. I'm trying to get the, I'm a, to be honest with y'all. I'm trying to get the Ghost Brothers out. 
I'm trying to get the Ghost Brothers out. Everybody keeps saying, bring the Ghost Brothers. It be making me feel like y'all don't like me. <laughs> it make me feel like I'm the, I'm the, uh, I'm the unattractive friend in the group and y'all are just hanging out with me so y'all can get closer <laughs> to the to the to the cute friends <laughs> and that's okay i play my role very very well <laughs> i know y'all want to see marcus and Jawan. for y'all for people that are new to just me and don't know my background i have a tv show with two other people it's three of us and it's a running joke y'all look if you ever come to an event that me, Juwan, and Marcus are ever at, and I promise you this, if you ever come to an event with all three of us, the funniest thing that you could ever do is to come directly up to one of us <laughs> and tell us that we are your favorite ghost brother. But you must say it loud enough <laughs> that the other two can hear it. <laughs> Oh, please, y'all. Please. <laughs> please. Because we keep count. <laughs> we tally. <laughs> we keep score. <laughs> like, there's nothing more enjoyable, nothing more enjoyable than to hear someone tell you that they love you more than the other two people. <laughs> like, all the stereotypes of you hear about, we, like, honestly, being in the Ghost Brothers is like being in a boy band. <laughs> and we treat it as such. <laughs> Like we got Jawan, Jawan the sex symbol. Jawan tries to be the Beyonce. <laughs> Jawan's a sex symbol. We got it. You sexy. You take your shirt off, Jawan. Okay. God damn. Then you got Marcus. <laughs> Everybody love Marcus. Marcus the funny guy. Everybody love the funny guy. See, then you got me, man. I got to get in where I fit in. I got to get in where I fit in. I got to be the adventurous. <laughs> Everybody got their role in the boy band. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, y'all. It's a very, very funny dynamic. It's a very, very funny dynamic. Everybody gotta have a role. But we are, we every year we gotta look. Every year we gotta look Juwan in his damn eyes and let him know. Look, look, boy, <laughs> you ain't no damn Beyonce, man. Sit your ass down and put your shirt on, man. Pound sign, Juwan, you ain't no damn Beyonce. <laughs> No, nah, man, I'm just playing, y'all. I'm just playing. Oh, thank y'all. Thank y'all for telling me I'm funny. Remind me to tell y'all about the time I got booed off. <laughs> I let somebody convince me while living in L.A. that I should try stand-up. Yeah, that didn't work out too well. <laughs> that didn't work out too well. That is funny. That is funny. But yeah, seriously, if you ever see us at an event, I promise y'all, we will you will not get yelled at or cussed, cursed at if you run up to one of us and tell us that we're your favorite. It will only make the moment awkward for the other two, and it's so funny, and we love it. <laughs> we love it. <sighs> y'all, I needed this little morning walk, y'all. This is the Collier resting mausoleum thank y'all for everybody that donated today i appreciate y'all i appreciate y'all marianne from oregon say hey, man i'm gonna come out there y'all would y'all what y'all think about mausoleums like this what y'all think would y'all want to be buried have your whole family put in a mausoleum like this Everyone that's resting, the Collier family, everyone that's resting in here, peace, love, and light. We're just admiring the beauty of your final resting space. It is beautiful. Look like it's marble in there. But yeah, y'all. Like I said, for everybody that's uh, just now chiming in, this is just a morning stroll through a cemetery. This is not anything. Um, you know, I'm not doing a spirit box session right now. Just kind of talking to y'all and letting y'all know that I've been out of town the past week. That's why I've been slacking on my macking. Slacking on my macking. <laughs> but don't worry. Don't worry, the kid is back. I'm back in town. I'm gonna be dropping a lot of videos this week. 
to say it to show my apologies <laughs> to show my apologies y'all so be tuning in i got a story i'm gonna tell i'm gonna drop a cemetery story later on today later on today i got a cemetery story i i told y'all about the time that i felt like i um you know met an angel but i want to tell you about a time that i felt like i might have met a spirit i don't know i don't know Jawan was with me so people can verify this story but i'm gonna post that story tonight so i want everybody to tune in tonight around 6 p.m eastern check out that video and tell me your thoughts in the comments tell me what do you think that i saw it's gonna be a storytelling okay here we go let's see let's see come to galveston i've been to galveston bert 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 me and my mama and daddy got robbed three times in the same night in galveston <laughs> and i am not lying <laughs> have you raise your hand if you've ever been robbed three times in the same night Dalen has <laughs> Dalen has Sir Burt respectfully Galveston can kiss my ass <laughs> but no nah, man I'm gonna come out there I will I will come out there again but for sure we got robbed three times <laughs> three times in Galveston Texas in the same damn night <laughs> my mama I tell y'all the story briefly my mama and daddy decided to take my little i don't know how old i was 10 year old self to galveston for spring break so we drove from dallas texas to galveston texas i'll never forget we parked the car outside the hotel on the street and probably like around 12 12 30 at night all you hear is this alarm going off so my dad is like man you think that's our car <laughs> my mom was like go look sprat it's funny, my mother calls my father by his last name. I've never heard, in, in the 38 years of living, I've never heard my mother call my father by his first name, ever. She's always only called him his last name, weird. <laughs> but anyway, she was like, Sprat, go, go look. So he go outside, he come back, they done smashed the back window of the car and stole whatever bag was out there. He was like, shit, ain't nothing we can do about it till the morning. He come back to the room. About two hours later, all you hear is an alarm going off. Woo, 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 woo. He was like, man, I know that ain't our car again. He go downstairs again. The front driver's side window is smashed out. Y'all, the back window was already smashed out. Why y'all come back? Y'all just gonna come back and smash the other window? <laughs> Boom. He go back in. Y'all, I swear to y'all, about five o'clock in the morning, man, all you hear is, doo, doo, woo, woo. man, he go back downstairs a third time, y'all. Why they knock out? I'm gonna let y'all guess. It's only a couple windows left. <laughs> Which window y'all think got smashed out next? <laughs> if you guessed front passenger window, you win. <laughs> but yeah, man. Yeah, man. Galveston owe us about seven hundred dollars. More little story. Galveston owes the Spratt family about seven hundred dollars. So y'all, all right, okay. Meet and greets. People are asking about meet and greets. Shifter meet and greets. I've been working on trying to put together an event. I just gotta feel like what I gotta figure out what that event looks like. Like y'all wanna come out and like like I find a haunted location in a city near you and y'all come out and we do like an investigation. That's what y'all talking about. Or y'all want me to like we come out and we come to a big cemetery? <laughs> I don't know. We gotta figure out what that type of event looks like, guys. But and then we gotta figure out where can we do them that enough people will show up. Because I would love, if I can do an event and get at least 50 people to show up in a city, I will do events all over the country, y'all. 
if I can get 50 people to show up and y'all and we just find like a neutral place all over, <laughs> I'll put together like a tour. So yeah. Y'all tell me. We'll, if, if that's something that y'all would like, I would figure it out. <laughs> I would figure it out. What'd you say? Uh, Rochester, New York, Tallahassee. Come to the Dallas area. I'm all, say, I'm finna come to Dallas probably next week. So remember when I told y'all Y'all remember when I told y'all that my dad wanted me to... Uh, look, I'm finna come I'm gonna sit over here for a second, y'all. Anytime they have chairs at their resting space, I take it as an invite, and the grass is kept over here. See, look at this. Hold on. Oh, there's other people sitting and resting over in this area. I don't want to disturb other people, y'all. My bad. We gonna move around. There was other people over there. It was people on the other side of that bush, and they were there first. So you know, we gotta be respectful of other people. It looked like they was on a date though. Should we, should we go assist in that macking, or should we let brother Mac on his Mac and peace? <laughs> mac and peace, <laughs> or should we go play wingman? <laughs> what y'all think? <laughs> we gonna let brother Mac and peace. We gonna let him mac in peace, y'all. Cause you know, I can play wing, man. I can play wing, man. So look, y'all. All right. We need to find, let's find six cities that shifters can travel to. Six cities. Six cities, y'all. Six cities. We're gonna put together. Let me let me move out the way. Let me move out the way. Let me move out the way. My man over there, Kool-Aid. He Kool-Aid. For, for, for my more seasoned crowd, when I say that he Kool-Aid. That mean he over there being sweet. He over there canoodling. <laughs> he Kool-Aid. <laughs> y'all just wish y'all just witness a Mac in progress. <laughs> That's a MIP. That was a MIP. A Mac in, in progress. Alright, y'all. So I need to put together six cities. Six big cities, y'all, that people can get to. All right, if I can put together six cities, and I can get at least at least fifty people to come come out, <laughs> I'm gonna try to figure it out, y'all. Figure out what that event looks like. Maybe we maybe we can investigate a location together. Maybe we could do a cemetery walk and meet up early in the day, and then an investigation at night or something. I'm going to figure it out. But y'all let me know what big cities. And then I'm going to start like doing polls. I'm going to narrow it down to six cities <laughs> that people can travel to. And we can do some in-person shifting. Maybe we can do like sessions, maybe get like 20 people. And we can go out and maybe do a shift together in that city. I don't know, y'all. I'm going to figure it out. I'm just making up stuff right now. I'm just talking. I'm just talking because I'm glad to be back and I missed y'all. Y'all, this is 49 minutes, man. I'm going to go for a couple more minutes, y'all. I just missed y'all. I missed y'all so. I missed you so much. <laughs> I missed y'all, man. It's, you know it's bad when you be on a vacation or a trip and all you think about is your wife and baby and your graveyard shift family, y'all. I have missed y'all so much. Okay, this is Sarah Grant and William Grant, born in 1837 and 1839. Wow, the Grant family. Blessings to you all in the Grant family. Uh -oh. 
Blessings, blessings, blessings. Blessing. Yeah, y'all. So, yeah, I'm going to put it together. But we need to get like 50 people every city, y'all. And if we can keep growing events like that, we can keep doing them throughout the year. Y'all, look. I have a lot of ideas. And we're going to keep growing and keep doing them, y'all. We're going to take this show on the road. Because, like, all the times that we was in Tennessee, in Nashville, we could have for sure threw something. In, but we are, we are working on something big in Nashville. Working on something big in Nashville, y'all. So, say all that to say. Keep tuning in, y'all. Keep tuning in. I appreciate y'all. Michelle Garrison, thank you, love. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all. Y'all think I should do cemetery walks more often? I'm gonna go get my gimbal. <laughs> but I'll hit all type of cemeteries. Y'all look, say it's summertime now, but Axel's in school, so I can I got <laughs> look, 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 look. Guess who got free time? <laughs> Guess who got free time? <laughs> y'all, somebody it's funny. I'm glad that y'all care about me and my family. Cause that makes me love y'all even more. But people be in my comments, you need to, you post a lot of videos. I hope you're spending time with your family. Da 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 da. Y'all, please understand. Me and Stacy both work from home. <laughs> Stacy wants me to get out the house just as bad as y'all want me to post graveyard shit videos. <laughs> you and Stacy are on the same page. <laughs> Y'all and Stacy are on the same page. I can never not be out the house enough posting. <laughs> but no, nah, man, me and Stacy, we always together, y'all. We always together. And again, my wife supports this wholeheartedly. It's funny because every time I come home from doing a live, she starts telling me all the stuff I said. I was like, oh, you was watching. So Stacy, if you're watching, I love you, boo. So yeah, man. Yeah, so yeah, she don't be tripping, y'all. So y'all don't be tripping either. So if y'all want me to do more of these, I'm going to go get the gimbal. I'm going to go get the gimbal anyway because y'all already donated some money this morning. So thank y'all. Everybody that donated today, you just bought a gimbal. <laughs> Not you want a gimbal. You just bought a gimbal. Thank y'all. Everybody that donated today from the bottom of my heart. The same way the people who donated last time bought the drone, you have just purchased a gimbal for this channel. So it'll be no more, no more wobbly, wobbly dailing, y'all. I'm going to go to Best Buy today and get a gimbal, y'all, for sure. And I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. Look me in my face when I, listen, listen. You look me in my baggy-eyed face when I tell you this. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you. Back to it, y'all. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to go get this gimbal. It's the 4th of July. I keep forgetting it's the 4th of July. I'm gonna make sure my baby see some fireworks today. She ain't really give a damn last year. <laughs> but today, we go, appreciate that, appreciate that. Who, who just slid me, who, who just slid some? Erica, Erica, thank you, thank you. But yeah, I'm gonna, uh, my baby, make sure my baby see some fireworks tonight. I hope it don't freak her out. Y'all, that's dope, look at that, that's beautiful. Angelina said, your sister wants Jawan phone number. Y'all missed my, uh, for the love of Jawan. Y'all remember when I, look. Let me tell y'all something. This is for people that don't take me serious. Y'all think I just be playing on social media when I be dropping content. For people that followed me on Instagram, I used to run a series called For the Love of Jawan, where people could shoot their shot on Instagram, and I would go to their page, and I would you know, introduce them to Jawan in front of everybody on social media. And it was so funny, ha, 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 until a girl really met Jawan. We had a winner, and they got to meet up, and they had a drink. See? So y'all better start taking me serious. Y'all, we got one more episode of Why They Hunt. I'm like, dang, you only dropped the four episode season? Yes. Because <laughs> we wanted to see if y'all liked it or not. Sweet girl, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. 
Thank you so much, y'all. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But yeah, y'all, we finna be dropping a whole lot of content out here. Why? Because I love doing this. Slap! Slap! So, what's it say? So, McL so I gotta say your name right. So McClanahan, or so name McClanahan, and slap. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. Somebody said I seem extra happy this morning. I am, y'all. I'm happy to be back. I've been out of town. And I told you somebody made me feel bad. They was like, all of this other stuff is cool, but I'm missing the graveyard shift. And I was like, man, I dropped three videos a week. Then I went back to the page, and I was like, damn, it's been like a week and a half because it's been lives. Remember, we was doing lives. We was doing live graveyard shifts. So that don't really count. That don't really count. That don't really count. So let me get back to the nitty gritty, to the real work. Let me get back to the real work, y'all. The work that y'all came to see. Dalen, when you, what? When you see the pointed headstones for the military, that is always Confederate headstones. Got you, got you, got you, got you. Hey, so look. Let me ask y'all this. My mouth getting dry. Let me ask y'all this. What y'all think? We've been doing a lot of graveyards, which is cool. We're the graveyard shift family. I see some more food. Y'all want me to start going to other locations too? Y'all want me to start? Okay. Let me find somewhere to sit down and talk to you. Do y'all feel like? So far, the graveyard shift has been working and people find it interesting because really all we do is just spirit box sessions, y'all. That's it. So we're trying to helicopter. helicopter. All right, helicopter. All right. So again, I've always vowed to keep y'all Keep it 100% honest with y'all every step of the way with this channel, y'all. So, I started the graveyard shift, man, because our television shows were put on hiatus. Like, nobody knows when the Ghost Brothers is coming back. Nobody knows, y'all. Nobody knows. <laughs> nobody knows, y'all. That's not to say we won't. We always do, but you just don't know when. And it probably won't be till like, next year, to be completely honest, y'all. This is just me being completely honest. But we're always here. We're always doing stuff. Like, we have our podcast. Are they after somebody? All right. So, yeah. What was I saying, y'all? Man, we lose my train of thought, man. Oh, yeah, we got our podcast with Travel Channel and Discovery Plus, Urban Legend with the Ghost Brothers. So we're still working with the network, right, during the podcast. And, y'all, I'm going to post the link to our podcast I need, I need my graveyard shift family to rise up and go run up the podcast, the television network podcast. Because <laughs> we want to keep that around. We want to keep that around. That's pretty cool. So if y'all like just hearing me talk, you might like hearing me, Jawan, and Marcus talk. There's no rhyme or reason or any sense <laughs> to anything that we're talking about, y'all. But it's funny. It's almost like three comedians. I'm trying to set up my tripod, y'all. It's three comedians just shooting the shooting the SHIT about paranormal stuff. You feel me? So y'all go to anywhere you hear podcasts, Apple, Spotify, Urban Legends with the Ghost Brothers. I need my family here to run that up. You know, back in the day when you when your kid used to have to sell uh, new uh, magazines or, or get people to buy a cookie mix for school. They were on the school fundraiser and you had to really, really, really get active so your kid could win a damn bracelet. <laughs> you had to sell $10,000 worth of cookies <laughs> so your child could get a, a, a $5 bracelet. <laughs> I need that same type of energy <laughs> with, with our podcast, y'all flies over here we have to move over here i need that same type of energy with the ghost brothers podcast if y'all show up every week 
She's like, I'm gonna be honest with you. We can just hustle. Y'all family, y'all. We can just hustle. Y'all ain't even gotta listen to it. Y'all can just play it <laughs> and go on about your business. The episodes ain't nothing but like 30 minutes. But that's how y'all can support me by keeping the, the day job going. <laughs> and if people mess with the podcast, this is our third season. We've won awards, y'all. So it ain't like it's just some bull crap. But if you keep doing that, Ghost Brothers might come back a little bit sooner, y'all. So yeah, that's how you can support the Ghost Brothers. Listen to our podcast. Urban Legends with the Ghost Brothers. Spotify, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to podcasts. I'm going to make a video about it later, but yeah, just remember that, y'all. Um, I forgot what I was talking about, y'all. I forgot what I was talking about. There was, there was a reason. Oh, oh yeah, right. Boom. If y'all want to see me in more locations. The reason why I started doing the grave, oh, full circle moment. The reason why I started doing the Graveyard Shift is because Ghost Brothers is inactive right now. Graveyard Shift happened because I wanted to find locations that I could frequent that weren't going to cost me any money. And honestly, that's the only reason why I started doing speaker box sessions out of graveyards. I was forced to work with my available reality. I tell people that all the time. Y'all, I'm just gonna talk for a little while, man. Hey, man, if y'all wanna talk, sit back and listen. If y'all wanna listen, I mean, sit back, kick it. I'm out here, man. I'm happy to be back. This is my back off vacation, catching y'all up, hollering at the family reunion chat, y'all. So we got 630 some people in here. We finna just talk, y'all. We finna kick back and kick it. Good morning. Happy 4th of July. Y'all, the family probably still resting right now. Y'all can get to the fireworks later. We just gonna kick back and chick it for a second kick back and chill for a second so boom they put the shows we had lights out and we had fright club both shows do great we they put them on hold we don't know when they're coming back so a show being on hold means that we're not working so if we're not working then you got to find something to do with your time <laughs> so i was like during the meantime of them trying to figure it out I don't want to lose being in like the presence of everyone. Like it sucks that people get the energy of following you for 10 weeks on a tape on a TV show and then you might not come back for another year. But if you don't stay active, people lose thought and forget about. You don't know how many Okay. The last episode of Ghost Brothers probably aired in like November. This past November. I get messages every single day from people saying, hey, you look like that guy that had a TV show five years ago. I'm like, damn, you about four, five TV shows behind. <laughs> like people get lost in the sauce. People get lost in the sauce. See, look at that, Pete right there. I didn't know you was on TV. I didn't know you had a TV show. Uh-oh, I don't know, something happened in the comment. I hope everybody's okay. So, I wanted to stay active and present. But I understand that, you know, going to locations can get expensive. So I was like, I need to go somewhere free. <laughs> and then that's why I had the idea. I feel like God dropped it in my spirit to like, come to cemeteries, because they're like parks, and just do something simple, a spirit box session. People are like, why you don't add all this other equipment? Because it's literally just me and my iPhone. Like, I don't have anything out here. My spirit box is on my iPad. Like, that's it. I don't have, I'm not carrying anything else. This, I feel like it's just raw grassroots investigating. Like, it don't get no more raw, nastier than this. And I know people, like, they don't like the spirit box that I use. I be trying to be respectful, y'all. But sometimes I do get snappy in the comments. And I apologize, y'all. But I'm a person. <laughs> I am human. I want y'all to love me. Please just love me, love me. But no, I do get attitude sometimes, man. Cause sometimes, man, I could be chilling. Axel could just hit me in the head with a bat. <laughs> Taco could have just uh, ran his big bulldog foot over my toe. <laughs> and then I read, this box is stupid. I can't hear nothing. <laughs> man, listen. Is it raining? Is it raining? 
it might be raining y'all but y'all it takes time to adjust your ear i don't like other spirit boxes i've tried them i've tried them i i okay that was intense like i know that there's people walking through the cemetery but literally that was crazy someone in all black just like walked behind this mausoleum but i was like why would somebody be in all black you know like the blue man the blue man suit hit <laughs> like the little thing it looked like but that in all black. that was weird dog. that was weird and it's crazy how like now stuff like that don't even bother me no more there's a time where that would have freaked me out and i would have ran up out of here but now it's just like spiritual activity like that just don't even it don't fade me no more man. it's interesting but yeah, so that's why I start coming to cemeteries, y'all, because it was free. And then y'all just start liking it. And I was like, dang, that's cool. And I appreciate that. And it turned into something way more than I could ever imagine. That's why I'm never gonna stop. Cause then now we're starting to get to like, we're unlocking doors. People are crossing over. We're getting names and stories and connecting family members. And like, like it's, it's turned into this whole thing, this own thing that we never would have imagined. It is ready, guys. That is the thunder. Let's get back to the car, y'all. Let's get back to the car. But I'm gonna let y'all walk back to the car with me. Cause it probably ain't gonna rain for long. Hey, where my shit? I got my key. Yeah, I got my key. All right, y'all. What I was saying. So yeah, it turned into something way larger than I could have ever expected. And so we're not gonna stop. But if y'all want to see me do other things like get out of the graveyards and go to like, um, go to, go to, uh, other locations, then I will. But let me tell y'all what the real problem is, man. Let me put my backpack on. Like I'm a damn toddler. Let me tell y'all what the real problem is. The problem is, it's just me. And so when I reach out to some of these locations to do work for my YouTube channel, they automatically correlate me with the Ghost Brothers and they feel like I got Ghost Brothers money. <laughs> Y'all, this is Daylin doing this on his own in his spare time. Like, how you gonna charge me $5,000 to come up in here for an hour? For what? To show my YouTube family y'all's location? Man, y'all can go to H-E-L-L. -L. You feel me? But what I will do is I will spend the money if it's worth it. So maybe this is what we do. We start treating locations like we treat cemeteries. And we just start thugging it out, y'all. Y'all remember when we first started doing a graveyard shift? I was jumping over fences. <laughs> I was going through the woods, finding cemeteries. I'm going to still keep doing that, y'all. Y'all, you never have to tell me, no, I like the graveyard shift. Y'all, everything that I'm doing that y'all love, I'm going to always do. But I can always do other stuff because it's all in the same family, if that makes sense. If that makes sense. I'm loud. I'm loud, y'all. I was loud. I apologize. I was too loud. I'm looking for Okay, I was just live streaming to all my people. All you, you, you want to say hi? You gotta say. You gotta say hi now. Ooh, what's your name? Diane. Diane. I'm a tour guide here. Are you, Miss Diane? You're a tour guide. Mm -hmm. I'm actually giving a walking tour guide tour to 700 people right now. Oh my gosh! Good yeah, for you. yeah, we're just walking and they listened to me talk this early morning. Yes, ma'am. Hope you make it to the African American grounds. Oh, we definitely will. We definitely will. I appreciate you, Ms. Diane. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all, so she's a tour guide here. She's a tour guide here. Let me tell you about Miss Diane. Now, now Miss Diane, why 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 I got to make it to the to the African African American part of the cemetery? <laughs> See, that's y'all, that is little subtle subtle nuances that black people deal with <laughs> on a day-to-day -day. i just i'm glad that you witnessed it in real time it's nothing it was nothing bad 
It was not racist. It was not bad. It was not nothing at all. It was out of pure love. <laughs> it was out of pure love. But, <laughs> Miss Diane, how you know that's what I was looking for, Miss Diane? I ain't said nothing about the African American part of this cemetery. <laughs> That, how you end the conversation with, I hope you find the African-American part of the cemetery. <laughs> exactly. It was not intentional, but it was not necessary. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I'm glad y'all got the witness that that's funny, y'all. That is funny. That's funny. That's funny. But Diane was cool, y'all. Diane was cool. <laughs> Diane was just trying to help a brother out. Y'all, Diane just wanted to help a brother out. We not gonna put that jacket on Diane now. Y'all know I, I see the good in people. <laughs> and Diane didn't call me loud, y'all. I said I was being loud. <sighs> that was funny, y'all. <laughs> walking with Dayla, just walk and talk. But yeah, y'all. Okay, it's not raining no more, so. <laughs> Say, man, Miss Diane just wanted to make sure Okay, all right, Dodger, you said she's a ghost. I'm glad you said that. Tune into the story that I'm dropping tonight. Tune into the story I'm dropping tonight. I wanna know y'all's thoughts. I'm gonna drop a story. I'm gonna, I'm, I've, I've recorded a story in the cemetery and it's just me telling y'all this story. And I want y'all to listen and then tell me y'all's thoughts in the comments. I'm gonna drop the story tonight. <clears throat> Somebody said I could have been visiting my white grandparents. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How you know, Miss Diane? I ain't over here visiting my white my white grandmama. But y'all, that's why we preach love, y'all. People that hey man, listen. 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 We ain't got time for none of that. You can tell people's heart and intention. And again, I don't feel like Miss Diane had nothing. No negativity at all. It's been a few videos we done bumped into some people, y'all, where y'all have felt the energy. <laughs> but yeah, we always lead with love over here, man. That's why we always stay protected. We always lead with love. I haven't even walked over here. This cemetery is in Georgia. This is in the heart of Atlanta, Georgia. Oakland Cemetery. Again, man, if y'all want me to do this more, I do these a couple times a week, y'all. I love to walk. This gives me exercise. This counts as my cardio for the day. And there's cemeteries everywhere. We can go to all sort of cemeteries, man, until we get kicked out. And y'all say, y'all already know I don't mind getting kicked out of nowhere. You hear me? I wear my getting kicked out like merit badges. So kick me out. I ain't afraid to leave nowhere. You feel me? So we can keep doing these, y'all. But, yep, I do have an email. I do have an email, y'all. It's on the it's on the uh, about page. If you go to the YouTube, to my YouTuber. Y'all, I can do. It's Dalen. Just, just send me an email to Dalen, D-A-L-E-N, 228. Dalen, the number 228, at Yahoo. Dalen, 228 at Yahoo, man. Send, send me an email over there if y'all want to holler at me about something, man. Okay. Man, Tanya, do I check my Facebook messages? I'm going to be honest with you. Not really. Not really. It get hectic over there. It gets hectic over there, y'all. Y'all, I try to, I try to respond to messages as much as I can. But Facebook, Facebook, it'll be a lot of paranormal stuff, and then it'd be like those foreign messages. Like, tell me, hey, tell me more about yourself. <laughs> what? <laughs> tell me who you are. Tell me your social security number. <laughs> like, it'd be all them foreign messages, man. I ain't got time for that. And I'd be having to weed through a million. Hey, tell me about yourselves. <laughs> like, I ain't got time for this stuff. Yeah. But yeah, y'all, I want I'm getting on the road. I'm taking this show on the road, man. The plan is to get me and Mark all over the world. I wanna be 
you know that that one channel the best food review show ever where buddy like he's kind of like the new anthony bourdain i want to be like that on youtube where we travel all over and, and it was supposed to be like that for colombia so for y'all that don't know i just got back from colombia last night from cartagena colombia and the plan was to go live and shoot videos from the cemeteries out there but it was just sketchy <laughs> It was just sketchy, y'all. And I don't speak Spanish. I didn't speak Spanish good enough to move around by myself outside of where I was staying. You feel me? And I ain't want my story to, I ain't want my story to be like that. Because there was too many people from Cartagena, like, stopping me and pulling me to the side and making sure I was good and out the way. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, dang, if I get out here by myself. <laughs> so, yeah, I just had to play it. I had to play it smart and safe, y'all. And I just didn't want to be by myself out there doing all of that. So, yeah, I'm gonna make my trips more intentional. I was trying, that was for something else, and I was just trying to incorporate some shifting out there. I don't know what y'all congratulating Kathy for, but congratulations, Kathy. Congratulations, Kathy. Y'all, y'all, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. Right. Police. The ghetto birds are flying again. The ghetto birds are flying. For all of my foreign people. The ghetto bird is the police helicopter. <laughs> it's the police helicopter. It's the police helicopter. All right, y'all. Okay. Uh oh. Somebody said I missed a donation. Uh oh. Thank you to everybody that's donating. If I missed you, if I missed you, hold on. Let me go back and look. Let me go back and look. Uh oh. It won't show me. It won't show me, y'all. It won't show me if I if I please y'all if I miss your if I miss your donation please know that I appreciate you I thank you y'all are the the apple of my eye Darla I love you Darla y'all know what movie that is I love you Darla I thought it was so cool when that movie came out in like the nineties. The, the 90s versions of the little rascal. The uh the little black boy with the bald head he used to wear a little fedora. He stayed in my neighborhood. He stayed on my street. And it was just kind of cool being that young and thinking like, yeah, he was just a celebrity of the neighborhood. <laughs> he was a neighborhood celebrity back then. Thank y'all so much, Healing Wings. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, y'all. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Y'all, I appreciate y'all. Whew. Boy out here sweating now. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much, y'all. <laughs> the bird's not real. Y'all, that I didn't understand the hype around the bird's not real campaign. Like, we shot a scene for Fright Club. And I was supposed to be a part of this organization called Birds Aren't Real. And they brought this guy in who's like the king of this organization. And I played along with it. Boy, did I not know that people would take that serious. The world stopped. <laughs> Every time people meet me, I get charged about do I have my birds aren't real card? Or do I really believe that birds aren't real? Guys, of course birds are real. You know how much chicken <laughs> I've eaten in my day? <laughs> and see, that's why Diane think I'm... And see, the, the, <laughs> stereotypes. I, I can't be feeding to the stereotypes, y'all. You, ain't it messed up? You know, it's so messed up. I love chicken. I love watermelon. But damn it, I can't say it out loud. <laughs> I can't say it out loud, damn it. <laughs> y'all, I love y'all, man. Because y'all let me just 
Y'all let me be me. Y'all let me be me. My man on the scooter. Yeah, man, y'all let me be me, and that's why I appreciate y'all. I don't have to, I can always be myself. I can always be myself. How you doing today? Great. Good, 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 man. Do you, you take strolls through cemeteries often? No. No, no, how'd you end up over here today? Um, from time to time. Because I haven't seen much of Atlanta, I just tried to come oh. out. Oh, you, I'm on live. Yeah, you're on live. What, where, what's your name? Nima. Nima, where are you from? I'm from Iran. Oh, you're from Iran. Okay. Nice my, to meet my, you. My name is Daylin, and I'm from here in Atlanta. And we have uh, almost 700 people just wow. taking a tour with me through a cemetery. Oh, yeah. So you came out here just to visit Atlanta? Yeah, I was uh, right now in the park, Grant Park. Oh, Grant Park. Yeah, Grant yeah. Park. It was great. And... Um, uh, I had the chance to use my scooter. Yeah. I don't use it much <laughs> right. uh, since I'm always in the office working. Got you. Oh, you're out here for work? Yeah. Yes, I, I do work. I'm a postgraduate. Got you, got yeah. you. How long are you going to be in Atlanta? Uh, uh, for now, one more year maybe. Oh, yeah. you have another yeah. year. So you're just taking your time. See, y'all, you can always come to places like this, like our friend Nemo here, and just tour around. Yeah. See? Have, All right, pleasure meeting you, have man. Have a great day. All right, be safe. Have a great day. Y'all, see, you meet all types of people. It's just like coming to a park. <laughs> Let me tell y'all why y'all ain't shit. What's the name of your channel? Oh, it's my name. <laughs> and Nemo whispered. He said, what's, what's the name of your channel? It's my name, Daylin Spratt. So Daylin, you got to pull it. Yeah, you got to pull it up, yeah. man. See, we got, we got another subscriber. <laughs> we getting subscribers in real time, y'all. Do you know the, um, your sister name is Nemo? Uh, Nima. Nima. Have you heard the, the, the show Finding Nemo? Yeah, yeah that's Nemo. Th that's Nemo. Yeah. See, but do people mistake you and say that? Yeah. See, that's what everybody, that's what people think that I said. They think I said yes. Nemo. What is, yes. spell it for me. N-I-M-A. N-I-M-A. So it's not Nemo, it's Nima? Yes. Nima. See, yeah. see, close enough. We found him. It's we a found Persian him. name, but I have so some someone from india told me that there are indians named nima too really which i, I it's very uh, yeah if that's correct <laughs> so he's wow. reading the comments People are active <laughs> yeah <laughs> right right that's the family that's our family mm -hmm. but yeah you gotta you gotta write my name down yes. man so you can search it so it's i've got you right here d a uh, that's s d a l e n and then yeah dalen spratt i'll Perfect. pop up right there yeah oh that's me all of that is me. Perfect. Yeah, Perfect. yeah. Now you have another follow. Oh, I appreciate you, Nima, my man. Be blessed, brother. Yeah. Y'all, we found Nima. We found Nima, y'all. Yeah. That is cool. Uh-oh. Somebody some misunderstanding somewhere? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 y'all. We know Miss Diane wasn't being, wasn't being, uh, wasn't being racist, y'all. It was just funny at that unfolding in real time. But no, Miss Diane ain't racist, y'all. She was just trying to be helpful to a black man and point me to the black cemetery, y'all. That's it. <laughs> she is it. But y'all, we, we're meeting friends on our morning stroll, y'all. We meeting friends. Everybody is friendly. Everybody is friendly. Everybody's friendly. All right, y'all. We gonna, we gonna say hi to one more person, one more resting site, and then we gonna get up out of here. And only my, probably my OG graveyard shit family members are going to know and recognize this spot. Okay, ghost towns? All right, yeah, so back to all of that, y'all. All right. So yeah, people try to charge me an arm and a leg because they think I was on TV, man. So what I'm gonna do, do is I wanna invest in going to some locations, but yeah, we're gonna have to grass root it up and start from the bottom like we did the cemeteries. So it's gonna have to be like reaching out to friends of friends. <laughs> Somebody says, Dalen, you have a white friend in me. Thank you, I need more white friends. <laughs>
<laughs> no, I'm just playing, y'all. I need all the friends I can get, y'all. Because I've always been... You know what's funny? I'm a very, 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 very introverted person. Like, I can talk to all of y'all because y'all not really here. <laughs> but in real life, I'm the guy at the party that's in the corner by himself, like, watching everybody. Like, I'm not a sociable person at all. Like, Jawan is the party guy. Like, I've had the same four friends since high school. Like, I don't have... I don't... Yeah. Yeah. I'm Like, literally... My oldest friend, I'm 38. We met when I was five. <laughs> so 33 years, like I'm that type of guy. Like if you're my friend, we're friends for life. <laughs> so yeah, man, I'm just not like a, a, a outgoing person when it comes to being social. So yeah, look at this y'all. Here we go. <gasps> Who remembers this episode? Who remembers this episode? Y'all remember the mayor of Oakland Cemetery? The mayor of Oakland Cemetery. If you don't remember this episode, go check it out. Go check it out. Go check it out. That boy Jasper. Yeah, I remember Jasper. Jasper sitting on top of the world. He sits on top of his mausoleum. Jasper, y'all. Good old Jasper. All right, y'all. I'm sweating. So remember, I think y'all said that y'all like me doing these these walks. I get a good workout doing them, y'all. So I don't mind them every like not every morning, but maybe a few times a week. And we go to different types of locations, cemeteries, from in the woods to you know beautiful ones, old ones, newer ones. We just do morning walking talks with a gimbal. <laughs> with a gimbal. And then, yeah, I'm gonna start working on some locations. Oh yeah, back to that. Let me sit down for a second. Let me sit down. Oh, okay. So. So, as for us starting to get into like haunted locations and starting to use other equipment, because I feel you, man. I'm going to start getting some more equipment. Like, people have been trying to donate equipment and all of that stuff. I'm going to get my equipment up over the next like few weeks. And then we're going to have to just start grassroots with our, with our investigations, man. Locations. Just reaching out to people. People that have access to haunted locations and that would that will allow us to come in and kind of do our own thing we'll start there that's where we'll start that's where we'll start and yeah we'll just work our way on up we'll just work our way on up happy fourth of july everybody happy fourth of july everybody happy fourth of july but yeah that's what we'll do we'll just work our way on up y'all we'll start doing oh wow thank you marie thank you 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 I know people keep asking me about a GoFundMe and all that type of stuff. Y'all, I don't, man. I ain't, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I ain't never been a, a ass for nothing type of person. I've always been a work, dug it out, get it, earn it, spend it. So that's why I don't mind growing this channel in the way in which it's growing, like organically. Like when people donate, like 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 you're donating now, that goes for specific, specific items and things towards the channel. But like I, I'm not a, and I'm not knocking nobody that does a Kickstarter, GoFundMe, all of that stuff, man, because I might do that one day. Like, I might try to shoot a movie one day, but I don't know. It's just, I like to. Me, I've, I've always been taught, if you don't work, you don't eat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, so I, I be earning, man. I like the work. I like the work. I like the work. And I know the channel going to get there. The channel's going to get there one way or another. And I'm not going to stop. Like, I've already seen the potential. 
And I've already, I feel like I got, I mean, I got 60,000 people strong, y'all. Somebody said there was something behind me. See, I be trusting y'all, man. I be trusting y'all. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna start doing locations. We're gonna start with the free ones and work our way up to, to, the, to the paid ones, y'all. Somebody keep Ghost Tube Seer, S-E-E-R. What does that mean? What is Ghost Tube S-E-E-R? Yeah, people are asking, do I have Cash App or PayPal? I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Uh, yeah, I forgot. I think it's all. Everything is like my name. I know my PayPal is Dalen Spratt at Gmail, which is the email that is attached to. Now watch me get a shitload of emails there. <laughs> uh, y'all, I love y'all. And Amy Ethne. I hate that I say it wrong, love. But thank you so much. A K2 meter? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got one. I got one. It's at the house. It's at the house. I'm going to bring it out. I'm going to bring it out. So just, just because you just donated the next Graveyard Shift video, I'm going to bring it out. I'm going to bring it out. So, yeah, I'm going to get my equipment together. I'm going to get my locations. And I'm going to start stepping it up, y'all. I'm going to start stepping it up. I'm going to start stepping my game up, y'all. Love y'all. Love y'all, y'all. I'm about to go ahead and get up out of here, man. I appreciate y'all. This turned into a very long video. <laughs> but I will definitely do more morning morning walking talks. And I'm going to start getting around to putting these events together. I have a lady that wants to help me out putting events together. And I'm trying to think what else would just be really, really helpful. There's people that transcribe the spirit box all the time in my comments. If you could hit me up directly, I would love to like, that would take a big load off my plate. If I could send somebody the video, every graveyard shift video, and they just transcribe it. CC, CC, thank you, love. Thank you, CC Gaston. If they can just take the video and then just transcribe it and send me back the timestamps, I can drop videos two or three times a day. You hear me? It's nothing for me to come to a because you got to realize I can come to a, a cemetery or a graveyard and shoot five or six sessions. I just usually shoot one and leave because I know I got to go edit and do all that other all the extra stuff. But if I had somebody that could just listen to the video and just transcribe and send it back and I can just put it in there, that would save me so much time and I could drop so many more video sessions, <laughs> so many more in the week. Like literally, I can drop two and three a day. <laughs> Cause that's the only hard part is just going back, listening to the, the spirit box sessions and trying to hear over and over again, especially when you have a two year old and then two French bulldogs and she's trying to stick a carrot up the dog's nose <laughs> and he's letting her <laughs> like just all of that other stuff. But I would love to drop two a day y'all. Cause it's nothing. It's nothing for me to come out here and do three, four, five sessions. I'd be energized. I'd be amped. Like today, like I'm cool. I'm having a good time. But it's just going home and trying to find the quiet time to edit it. So yeah, I need a transcriber. But somebody that can really, really do it. It takes a special type of person. There's one person that always does it. <laughs> and they're dope because they do it all the time anyway. So I need someone like that, that catches all those little nuances that even that I miss. So yeah, we can drop like literally two or three videos a day. We can get, if I can get two of them people, <laughs> we can drop two or three videos a day, y'all. Cause it was, that's, that's where all my time goes is editing. It ain't the shifts. It's the sitting down, trying to listen, get that play. Axel put that down. Sit back down. Axel, your finger don't go in there. <laughs> Put that down. <laughs> Axel, again, your finger doesn't go on that end either. <laughs> Try to listen. <laughs> All of that. So, yeah. Send me an email, y'all, to Daylin228 at Yahoo. Daylin, the number 228. Somebody write that in the comments for people to see it. Daylin228 at Yahoo.com. And, y'all, please, don't just be sending me email. Like, really, like, really, really... 
finding my true self. Thank you, love. Thank you, love. It's a big job, y'all. It's a big job. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to throw you a little something, something. I ain't trying to ask you to do it for free. But I ain't, we ain't making money just to be it ain't a full, it ain't a part-time job now. <laughs> It's a weekly, it's a weekly love offering. <laughs> if somebody don't mind a weekly love offering <laughs> to help your boy out, man, shoot me an email. But I need for you to really know what you're doing, y'all. Matter of fact, y'all, this is what you got to do. I hate to do it, but you, I'm, it's going to have to be a resume. If you send me an email, I need for you to just go transcribe one of my videos. And it ain't gotta be the longest one. It could be a short five, 10, seven minute video. But I just need to know that you can go in and transcribe one, y'all. But just because you do so, doesn't mean that you're gonna get chosen. So I don't want you to even waste your time, y'all. <laughs> so don't even waste your time. I'm only gonna pick like two people, y'all. So I get it, but I just need to know. Matter of fact, don't even send me a transcription. <laughs> don't even waste your time. <laughs> Don't even waste your time. I don't even want nobody doing that and then getting mad if they don't get picked, y'all. Just shoot me an email saying, Dalen, look, if you wanted a transcription, I could send one. And I would. <laughs> but you told me not to waste my time. Yeah. So, yeah, y'all. We get up to that. We get If I can get two transcribers, I can drop two or three videos a day. For sure. And I would love to. Like, it's nothing to do that, y'all. It's nothing. All right. What else? What else? Asn't it? I already know. My inbox is going to be crazy. Inbox is going to be crazy. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. <laughs> I'm tripping. <laughs> I should have did that, y'all. That's why I'm saying, man. Say, don't, don't, don't send me no email, y'all. <laughs> I don't want no email. I can't read no more emails. Oh, all the shirts went out, y'all. All the t-shirts went out. So check, check your email for your tracking number. We should be all good to go. We should be all good to go. Jerusha, tell your daughter I said, what's happening, man? Tell I said, hey. No, okay. Y'all, y'all, since, since y'all my coworkers, I need for y'all to tell me what y'all think about this. I was trying to be slick with the last t-shirt order and I tried to do pre-sizes. And I ordered about 52 minute mediums. <laughs> so I got about 52 minute mediums sitting around the house of the, of the Shifting Ain't Easy t-shirts. So I'm thinking about running a special where those are just autographed shirts. Because I didn't autograph any of the Shifting Ain't Easy tees. We didn't do that. We didn't do that for this one. So maybe I do a autograph photo and an autograph medium just for that set of 50 shirts. And I might put them up online, first people to get them. First 50 to get them, get them, and they gone. But they are size mediums, because my ass overshot the number of mediums. Uh, but I'm going to do some giveaways. I'm going to do some giveaways, y'all. Do... It's somebody's anniversary. D. Anderson, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. And y'all, I don't be trying to just be getting money up out of y'all. I don't want y'all to ever feel like that. But I just feel like t-shirts are cool. I'm a t-shirt guy. And I feel like, and the network would never let me run merch ideas and it used to piss me off, man. That's why you never seen like a Ghost Brothers t-shirt. You feel me? Like why y'all don't, because the network was always had a hand on a, on a neck. We had, why there were no real, you know what I'm saying? It was just all of that. So I like t-shirts, y'all. I like, it makes me feel cool like a part of an organization, y'all. So, and it, all the money goes back into the channel. So like this last drop, y'all, I know he ain't on here, but I'm going to tell y'all. So for everybody that purchased a t-shirt, this past Shifting Ain't Easy t-shirt, a nice portion of that, we're going to donate to Mark for his time, y'all. We're going to bless Mark, man. Mark has put in a lot of time. Like, he's put in a lot of effort for free. Like, Mark edits for, like, for a living. Like, the type of work that he's putting into this channel for free... He deserves a blessing. So for everybody that, that bought a shirt last time, a, a, a nice portion of that is going to Mark. And the rest of that is going back into the channel and everything. But we're going we to send Mark a, a, a blessing from the Graveyard Shift family. Boom. Don't tell him now. <laughs> we're just going to let that. 
let that blessing hit his account <laughs> and we gonna see if he uh if he say thank you to us <laughs> But yeah, so thank you to everybody that bought a Shift and Ain't Easy t-shirt. That definitely is going to bless Mark and to uh, grow the channel, y'all. Mark definitely deserves it. He put in a lot of... I'm telling y'all, if y'all just want to see what Mark deserves, look at the editing of a Why They Hunt episode, and then look at my ass now. <laughs> That's the night and day difference. So we want to keep Mark around, y'all. But I know, like, you can't ask people to do what they get paid for to do for free. You feel me? That just ain't right. Like, yeah. Yeah, you gotta pay people they work, man. And although I can't pay you your worth, <laughs> I can at least hustle up some money by selling some shirts to break some bread with you. So yeah, man, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all to everybody that donated and, and purchased a shirt. What else, man? What else? What else y'all wanna talk about? Y'all still in here, I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why y'all like listening to me talk, talk to shoot the, shoot the stuff with you. And I do, I have a P.O. box, y'all. Uh, I'm going to write it somewhere. <laughs> I think it's in the community tab. It might be a P.O. box post with the address. So if you ever want to send anything, y'all, some t-shirt, whatever y'all got, y'all, I ain't say, man, I love my family. I love my, my graveyard shit family. So y'all can send whatever y'all want, man. T-shirts, all of that stuff. Whatever y'all got, merch, whatever y'all got, man. I love it. I love it. I love y'all. I love y'all. Somebody said I left and took a shower and came back and y'all still sitting here. Still sitting here like we ain't got no job. We ain't got no job today. We out here chilling. We out here chilling, y'all. But no, nah, I am about to get up out of here. Cause I gotta get home to my baby. I've been out of town the past few days. And so here I come, Stacy. Don't don't whoop me, Stacy. Don't whoop me, Stacy. I'm just with my friends. 